Okay, so we've run through the installation side of uh, how to install a BTEC battery. The next thing is the settings. Now there's no settings as we see it here on the battery. So there's nothing to do to the battery, quite self-explanatory. However, as we've run through on our DC to DC video and we'll cover through in the AC charger video as well, is there are settings that are required. So the key thing there is when you're doing the installation, setting it all up, is make sure you use a lithium compatible charger. Now, for example, our AC chargers, our DC to DC, have the correct charging algorithm that once you select lithium, it is suited to our LiPo4 chemistry and our BTEC range of batteries. If you are using another brand charger, for example, that does have adjustability on it, refer to the specifications um, that I did touch base on are on the labels or in the manual of all the BTEC batteries. So the key ones there that you're looking at setting is say uh, the bulk charge voltage there, which is normally around about 14.2 to 14.6. Also your standby or float voltage, which is around 13.5, 13.6. You also want to set the maximum charge rating again there. Now, as a rule of thumb, when you'll see all our specifications as to that charge rating, again, we play it safe. Um, we want your longevity out of your batteries. So as a guide, we normally say around about 30% of the capacity of your battery is the ideal charging range. So simple maths here, if it's a 100 amp hour battery, we're sort of saying around about that 30 or 40 amps of charging current. Or if it's a 200, let's just double that nice and simple, a 60 amp AC charge would be ideal there. So keep in mind those ones there, they can handle that higher charge current, but for longer lifespan and all that, again, we just err on the side of caution. But again, all that information as to what your charges need to be set at are clearly labeled on the battery. So again, making the setup and settings easy is that's what we're all about.